now we are going to discuss about an important and interesting property called induction the title of this lesson is electromagnetic induction in this this induction is very very important before this concept we have discussed about the reasons of the inductions and different experiments did to prove the induction property maybe due to the self induction or mutual induction so what is the meaning of induction suppose a magnetic flux changes it produces an induced emf in the coil this production of induced emf due to the change in magnetic flux is called electromagnetic induction the current which is produced due to this experiment or phenomenon is called induced current or induced emf induced emf or induced current induced current we can represent as i induced emf we can represent as e so what we can write induced emf is equal to d phi b by dt and this d phi b by dt is equal to we can write di by derivations and derivation part will be cancelled out and we can write phi b is equal to i or phi b is proportional to i we can write like this because emf is also proportional to rate of change in flux this is for one turn but for n turns capital n turns we can write n phi b is proportional to i if you remove the proportionality constant we can write it as l i where this l is called inductance its si unit is Henry symbol is capital H. Its dimensional formula is m l square t power minus two into a power minus. So what is the meaning of inductance production of current or electric current or induced current due to the change in magnetic flux within a coil is called inductance this inductance is classified into two types first one is mutual inductance second one is self inductance what is the meaning of mutual inductance it is a uh, if you go back to the experiments did to prove the induction property if change in flux occurred in one coil it causes to produce an induced emf in the nearest coil maybe of the different turns or equal number of turns that is said to be mutual inductance what is said to be self inductance change in magnetic flux due to the magnet's position in front of the coil and it creates a change in emf within the coil there we used one magnet one coil here we used in mutual inductance we used two coils of n number of turns or unequal number of turns in one conductor or one coil it produces the induced magnetic field and another one can create an induced emf now we are going to discuss the equation parts of these two induction properties now we are going to observe the mutual induction mutual induction means it is like a mutual understanding between the same category materials so what is this mutual induction so it is very difficult to draw as it is in the test book but if you try to see s2 s1 i o s1 s2 
I O. What is the meaning of these four letters? What is this S1? This S1 and I both are same. What is this I? Inner coil. In terms of magnetism, these coils are said to be solenoid. That's why we can say it as a inner solenoid. Same like O is equal to outer coil. So O and S2 are similar. This force S2 is called outer solenoid. So now what we can observe this inner solenoid see the width of the or size of the solenoid coils the number of turns like this it has some radius r1 but the outer solenoid radius r2 these two are wounded on a rotating axis like this now if magnetic flux changes in the inner coil, it can produce the induced EMF in the outer coil. Means magnetic flux changes in the S1 produces an induced EMF in S2. If magnetic flux changes in S2, it produces an induced EMF in the S1. That means induction property between these two coils are vice versa to each other. We know that. So if flux through S1 is phi1 which has n number of turns or n1 number of turns which has n1 number of turns Therefore, flux is equal to directly proportional to I. We know that. So, such like that. Total flux or total change in flux through S1 is given by N1 phi1 is equal to M12 I2. Change in the coil 1, flux change in the coil 1 produces the current in coil 2. That is very, very important. What is this M12? Mutual inductance of S1 due to S2. So, we can write N1 phi1 is equal to What is this N? Total number of turns. So, it has N1 number of turns. Each turn has length L. Therefore, we can write N1 is equal to small n1 L. Therefore, N1 is equal to number of turns L is equal to small L is equal to length of each turn. So we can do like this. Then what we can understand with this expression is N1 phi1 is equal to N1 L. What is flux B dot A B A where B is equal to mu naught N i A is equal to area of the inner coil because it is phi1 so therefore phi1 is a change in flux so ba cos theta is the flux formula therefore we can write pi r1 square mu naught n2 i2 this refers to b this refers to area phi1 is equal to ba now we can equate this equation like this Already N1 phi1 is equal to, we can write M1 to I2. Let us say this is some equation 1. Now we are going to see the comparison. So N1 and 2 mu naught 
पै आर वन स्क्वे एल ई टू इफ यू रोड दिस इक्वेशन इन एन आर्डर वी विल गेट म्यू नाट एन वन एन टू पै आर वन स्क्वे एल ई टू दिस इज ईक्वल टू एन वन फाइव वन बट वी नो दट एन वन फाइव वन इज एम वन टू ई टू सो फ्रम ईक्वेशन वन एम वन टू ई टू इज ईक्वल टू म्यू नाट एन वन एन टू पै आर वन स्क्वे एल ई टू इफ ई टू ई टू गेट कैंसिल वि कैन रईट म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस आफ कॉल वन ड्यू टू कॉल टू वित् रेस्पेक्ट टू कॉल टू इज कॉल म्यू नाट एन वन एन टू पै आर वन स्क्वे एल This is the expression for mutual inductance of one coil with respect to the another coil. This is with respect to to S two. Now we will see the vice versa case. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.